Yeah. You, you want those 243s, you said, right? Yeah. Yeah. You like the cup? I know. I uh, like that model right there. Yeah. I have uh, I have maples and I have ash common, so well, do you have enough or do you have a lot of not only a coach but this year I was asked to uh, take on the uh, the role of clubhouse manager as well. For all of us, we have our homes and this is our second home. To have a good clubhouse manager that you know we have foods, we have drinks and it's just like being at home, oh, I need to go get something to drink and it's nice to have someone that takes care of the stuff's clean and and uh, you know your clothes are clean. You know where everything's at. It's, it's it just makes everything easier. It's like being at home. You know you're looking for something at the house. You can't find it. Well, you know Jeff has to do that for 30 of us. Clubhouse manager is uh, it sounds so easy, but it's really a complex job. I mean you're you're a fix it guy. You're a, an equipment guy. You're a, uh, um, a custodian. You're um, a chef. <laughs> Uh, almost anything in between. I have a great assistant in Mike McKee who also uh, is a coach at Dowstown. He and I work together. He's really my right hand man. He kind of takes care of the clubhouse duties while I'm on the field. Yeah, that's fine. There's a couple guys here now, a couple pitchers wondering, you know, maybe a little bit what they want to do. And, uh, you know, I'm just kind of trying to guide them in the right direction. Uh, you have shopping trips, uh, errands to run every day. I mean, you want to make sure that you have. Uh, enough uh, bubble gum, say, for tonight's game. You want to make sure you have enough refreshments for after the game. I another ball order in, so I need to know really what I have, you know, where I stand. I'm going to tell all the bat voices, whoever is on the home side must always pay attention to the umpire. About the 5 o'clock hour or so, I'm, I'm changing hats, and I'm now going from clubhouse guy to, to coach. Like if a ball's just touched off the bat, right, and it doesn't get scuffed a lot, give it to me, I'll rub it, and I'll let you know if it's okay. What do you wait that out, buddy? It depends on whether the, the batter was successful or not. I mean, if he was, um, if he was successful in that at bat, you know, it's, uh, uh, you, you get all kinds of stories. Man, the pitch was away, the pitch was in, the pitch was up, you know, I shouldn't have swung at this, this pitch was that. Uh, you really get more conversation and more stories out of the dialogue that you hear between the first baseman and the runner. Grove, Grove scoring then. Grove, Grove, G R O V E, Grove. Where's that at? Um, out on East Market Street. You know, we're a professional baseball team. These guys have had uh, big league experience. They've had uh, a lot of minor league experience, anywhere from single to triple A, up to the big leagues. So you're dealing with a lot of different, different players. Your hat fit okay? Your hat fit? York Revolution uh, is a great organization. Um, we're uh, very proud uh, to be in this community, and uh, I think people need to understand that. You know, it's uh, we do. You know, we have a, a saying this year: it's uh, one town, one team, one goal, and uh, we really take that to heart. What position do you play? Uh, Shortstop. Do you really? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Are you? you? Want me to sign it right here, or where do you want me to sign it? <laughs> good. Fine job out there. You know. You know, it's just, just like I said, everything, there's tables out there for her to eat off of. He has good food after every game. There's, there's some drinks for us. You know, the place is always clean. The, well, you can say you can find everything. There's food and, and everybody's happy. Shoot, that's not easy for to keep 30 people happy. So I'd say he's doing a real good job. As long as I have the basics, if I have milk, bread, and sandwich meat, I'm, I'm pretty good to go. <laughs> and chips. They love chips. I can't keep enough chips in the house, but you know.